on the east side, the wayfaring and lonely girls. I took a table solo and I scanned the other world. To me, music is, is everything. Music is, is what moves me and what motivates me. You listen to a piece of music and it makes you feel, makes me feel so incredible that I want to write something that makes people feel like that. For the past 20 years, music really has been the centre of Becky Cole's universe. Every year, Adelaide's golden-haired star with the golden voice seems to shine at the Tamworth Country Music Festival. And now she has a swag of those prestigious golden guitars to her credit. Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. And I know you, you get home on a regular basis. Gee, it's been a long career um, and a fabulous career and you, you're still kicking enormous goals. Look, I do consider myself extremely lucky to, to still be doing this and I'm about to celebrate my 40th birthday, which is, uh, you know, in the old days, I think, around the time when they, that, where they would say to a female, off you go, that's the end of your career, but uh, I feel like we're still kicking. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you are and will always be Adelaide's own, Becky Cole, because <laughs> you grew up in Blackwood. I did, and I, I keep that going myself because I'm a very patriotic South Australian and I get home quite often to, uh, to visit Grandma, who's 93 and still selling Avon. Um, <laughs> I'm a, an ambassador for the Crows, as I always will be, whether they want me or not, because I just <laughs> am so passionate about them. Right. And, uh, and I think, you know, I, I love being Adelaide's own. So when you get home, what do you like to do? I do a lot of my songwriting um, in a little place called Blackiston, which is, yes. which is in between um, Little Hampton and Nan, and my, my best friend that I grew up with lives there on a property. And so I'm quite often found sitting under a tree there writing a song or two. Oh, now, I know that you really enjoy entertaining the troops. Why is it so important to you? Politically, often we see in the media a whole other side. So yeah. I, I was able to meet troops who were training and mentoring Iraqi police and uh, and you know putting hot and cold running water in little villages and, and little kids running up and sitting in their laps and I could see the difference that they were making. Now that doesn't mean that I you know that I support the the conflict or the war or the reason no. that that uh, troops are there in the first place. But I, but I certainly was able to say, gee, the Aussies are good over there. There's always a story behind your songs and I really love the story behind your latest single, Waitress. is about a woman working in a bar in Nashville. Tell me about it. To actually walk into a bar and see the most amazing singer that I, I feel I've ever heard. Um, she just put down her tray, she was serving people drinks and to start off karaoke night she got up there and when she opened her mouth to sing I just felt gobsmacked. She sang like it was Sunday and we all got high for free and bless her broken heart laying right there on her sleeve. So was she another one of those people who'd gone to Nashville chasing the dream? Indeed. I found out after talking to her that uh, she had moved to Nashville to be a star 16 years ago and was still waiting tables um, and waiting for it to happen, saving her tips money and taking her songs to record companies and I thought, what a story. I suppose I'll hear the angels sing like her someday And the dream she's searching for is just for little words away Let the waitress For me it was incredible, I had to write a song about it and she, she had heard about it, I got in contact with her and uh, she'd seen the, the film clip to the song and she said, you made my mum cry. Well I ordered songs and bourbon till she had to close the bar and in case she didn't know I said you ought to be a star. You know you've been very busy about to come off the tour, what's next? I just want to keep doing what I'm doing Lee, you know, I mean I love it, it's my passion and um, I feel so much happier and lighter and uh, really, I feel really good to be in my skin these days and I just want to keep doing it. Let the waitress sing.